Hi, I'm Becky with Goof Proof Health, and I am here. I have on the line Tom Bowman. He is my realtor. He helped me buy my house and helped me make a wiser purchasing decision. And he's got some things to share with you that may help you in your finances. Now, Tom has been a real estate investor since 1993. He more houses than all the TV shows combined. It's pretty good, pretty good uh, boasting, right? And he also, he's interesting even on a personal level. He is a member of a local Corvette club and he actually teaches high performance driving. And so let's get some high performance tips from you. Tom, are you on the line? I'm here, Becky. Hi, darling. Hi. Um, thank you for that great uh, intro. Um, what I'd like to share with a few people is there that when you're looking at buying a house, uh, there's the old adage that you may think you need 20% down payment. Well, you don't. Um, I was at a recent seminar by the North Carolina Housing Finance Agency, and every state has a housing finance agency. And what they are is, their mission is really to create affordable housing opportunities for residents of that state not that met by any other lender. For example, down payment assistance programs. Um, could be a several thousand dollars, in some cases up to $20,000 or more uh, in down payment assistance to help you buy your first time home. It must be an owner occupied home, uh, which most people is. And but sometimes the challenge is in some markets that there's no housing or very little housing available. So this helps people buy that house, buy that first time home. Um, and a first time home or first time home buyer means either you've never owned a house or you haven't owned your personal residence in the past three years. So if you've owned a house five years ago, but you've been traveling like some people do, I won't name who, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Or, or for some reason, you know, you were deployed and you came back and then decided I want to buy a house again. These programs are available for you in every state. Just check out your uh, your states. It's called in North Carolina. It's called North Carolina Housing Finance Agency. But I just looked up one for my brother in Colorado, and Colorado had a Colorado Housing Finance Agency. It's a nonprofit, and they work in many different ways, many different programs to help people buy houses, which is cool. Because um, everyone wants to own their own house. So that's what, uh, and we're available here in North Carolina to help anybody. And I can recommend um, real estate agents anywhere in the country to help other people find um, assistance in buying their own home. Doesn't yeah. that sound like fun? Good way to save some money, too? Yes, yes, absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so everybody, um, wants to own their own home, is it a good idea for everybody to own their own home? It depends. If you are living in an area on a short-term basis, maybe not. Um, if you're planning on being in an area where you're living you know, three years or longer, home ownership right now with most mortgages is less than paying rent. So if you're paying, you know, if you're paying a thousand dollars a month rent, you could probably own a similar size property or house and pay seven hundred dollars a month mortgage payment. Um, and also that house that you own appreciates, which means that you know if you paid a hundred thousand dollars for the house now, in one year with the average appreciation of four percent, that house will be worth one hundred four thousand dollars next year. Some areas have a little more appreciation. Some areas have a little less, but it also builds wealth. And wealth as an individual, what's good for you doesn't mean it's good for another person, but yes, it does help you. And it's the biggest thing I think with home ownership is pride in your community. You care enough to set roots down in your community and you're gonna be part of your community and get to know your neighbors and whatever else going on. That's why I think so many people like owning their own home or the American dream of home ownership. Um, it's stable for communities. It's good for schools, good for jobs. So that's why I think people really want to own homes. Um, and it doesn't matter what size. So it's wherever you want to be, whatever you want, they're there for you. Fabulous. Now on an investment standpoint, I know you have a very strong background in investments, Tom. 
tell me, is, is there something a beginning investor would need to know? Um, yeah, there's a couple things. One is it takes twice as much money as you thought and twice as much time to get the house ready. Um, the idea of some of these no money down seminars and flipping properties isn't real, isn't too realistic. It's not a possible, but it takes money to make money, especially an investment property. Um, most investors, you know, wind up with at least $50,000 cash. Um, and then they could wind up getting a rather high interest loan to buy the property, fix the property and sell the property. So it's, it can be done. It's just that it's not inexpensive. Um, we have several rental properties that we own free and clear. You know, we have a very good monthly cash flow from these rental properties. So that's, uh, um, but then again, I've been doing this 25 years. So, <laughs> Um, real estate investing is one way to accumulate a great amount of wealth. Just about every multimillionaire in America has used real estate in one way or another to buy. I think the first step for any person who wants to invest in real estate is to own your own home. Bar none. Buy your own house first. Okay, some really good advice. Anything else last uh, um, sir, what, what, anything else you wanted to say? Even though, you know, it's, whether you uh, agree with the current administration or the former administration, home ownership still has its tax advantages. So it helps reduce your personal taxes a little bit by owning your own home. Um, of course, I'm a realtor, you know, I'm here to sell house, list and sell houses. But I do buy houses myself too, and I do talk with other consult with people on where to go, how to do that to fit your budget. The, I think the last big thing here, Becky, is an individual may uh, qualify for a mortgage at, for a certain price point, but we always advise people be comfortable with the payment. Don't pay as high as what you're qualified to purchase because you don't want to stress your monthly budget especially if you're trying to help people save money for other items or things. So your monthly payment should be what you're comfortable with and your, your mortgage lender will work with you on that too. That's a, that's a big one, two big things right there, Becky. Fabulous. Oh, I have really loved talking to you today, Tom. And I think there will be some useful information for goof proof people. You betcha. I'll put a few things here and there on the website and uh, anyone can PM me and I'll send you my phone number. Happy to call and set you in the right direction to find a real estate agent, a professional in your state where you live. And Becky, when you're back in town here in Raleigh, give me a call and we'll uh, have some fireball together or something. <laughs> you got it. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. All right, Becky. You take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.